everyone, Rosa here, ready to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the Silhouette Cameos printing cut feature. I'll be using this digital collection by Knitwit Collections. Um, in this video, you will learn how to print and how to cut out these beautiful images as you can see here. This is a box card that I made using this collection and at the end of the tutorial, there's a quick video showing you a closer look of this beautiful box card. So come and join me on this tutorial and let's get started. Okay everyone, so here I have the Silhouette Studio opened up on my screen. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to set my page size that I'm going to be using to create my printing cut feature. So my paper is 8.5 by 11 which is a regular letter size paper. The paper that I'm going to be using is by Georgia Pacific and it's a premium cardstock paper which is 110 pounds which is perfect for these kind of um, printing cut projects. So after I have my paper all set up I'm going to go and start putting on my registration marks. First you got to choose the style that you're going to be using. I like using type 1 which it says Cameo Portrait Curio. So here I clicked on that and you can see that the registration marks did appear. These are the three marks that print out when you do when you send it to your printer. Um, you can invert it if you wish but I like to leave it as is. See how I invert it here? But I like to leave it um, just a regular size you know I like to keep it at default so here you can actually change the position on of your registration marks you just um, turn it here just grab the little arrow and just switch and you can see it's moving but I really like to keep it as is because sometimes when you send it to your printer mine is just a regular inject printer so when I send it to my printer sometimes it will not print the registration marks completely and sometimes if that happens then when your cameo you send it to cut it will not read the registration marks and it will not cut the images properly for you so after I get that done I'm gonna go and start choosing my image that I'm gonna be using and you just go to file and just hit open file I'm gonna be using today um, an images from the Knitwit collections ever saw it's, I saw Rena Myers um, presenting um, the Knitwit collection papers there I just fell in love and today I'm going to be showing you how to use them if you do purchase them or any image um, how you can cut print and cut these out so I'm going to be using Easter eggs now you can see here that there's a lot of different patterns now I want to choose one that has a solid more solid color to it does not have a lot of light colors because of the fact that sometimes when you try to do a printing cut with some an image with very light colors it will not read it for you so I'm gonna choose this one right here the blue and green one because uh, this is to me is the one that has the most solid color so I'm gonna be using this one. so but I'm just gonna use this one egg to get my um, trace my tracing image out and I'm gonna use that one to cut out the rest of my eggs so let me show you now what I'm gonna do I'm put, I just closed it up I did a close-up so you can see closer what I'm gonna be doing um, it tells me the size and everything of the egg I want a pretty good size for the project that I'm gonna be making so I'm doing a copy paste on here just to do a smaller one because I'm going to do two of each egg that I'm going to be cutting out. I want to do a bigger one and a smaller one here. Yeah, I just adjusted the size by doing a copy paste. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. This is the trace button. You're going to click on the trace button and you're going to highlight the image that you're going to be cutting. Um, you can see whatever's yellow, that's what it's going to cut. Obviously, you know, right now, if I click on the trace, all that it's red, that's what's going to cut. And I don't want that. I want it to cut around it. So if I send this to cut right now, it's going to cut all in between the egg and it's just going to ruin the image for me. So this is what we're going to do. You got to go to the high pass filter, which is the one that you see here. It starts you out at 5.0. I like to bump it up 
to 200 and you can see it highlighted much more of the image and I also like to adjust my um, threshold because you see here there's still a little gaps which means that if I trace it it's gonna go in so I'm gonna change my threshold to 50 and you can see it covered up mostly the whole entire egg so I'm gonna press press trace and you can see it's still gonna go in the egg if I sent this to cut let me just do an undo so you can see that right on the sides is very light color so it's not reading that so how there's a gap there it's automatically going to go into the image so I'm going to bump up my threshold just at 52.0 and I keep doing that little by little little by little just bumping it up my high pass filter my threshold until I see that it covers mostly my whole image that's what you want to do when you have images that have um, different variety of light and darker colors to it so here as you can see it's still going to go in but what am I going to do I'm going to do an offset the offset is actually going to help me to get the image or uh, you know the um the cut that I need here I took away the image and you can see this is the cut area this is what it will cut if I send it to cut right now so it automatically will cut inside my egg I don't want that so right here at the offset button you can see that it offset and I did get the round um, image that I want I want you know for it to cut around the egg and not in the egg so I'm gonna adjust my distance of the offset to 0 0.05 and automatically the margin around the egg just adjusted to the size that I want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rem remove the inner part that inner highlighted part I'm just gonna delete that and you can see here I have my highlighted egg so I just put my image back into my cutting area and you can see it's all ready to go so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get the rest of my eggs all in here that I want to cut. Now that I have my two sizes that I want to use to cut out my all the eggs that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to adjust the size so you can see the whole entire mat. Because what I want to do now is I want to go back to file. I'm going to open up the file of the Knitwick Collections again. Scroll down to all the eggs and choose all the eggs that I'm going to be using for this printing cut. So here I'm using this nice flowery egg and it automatically opened up in a new screen here on um, the Silhouette Cameo program. And what I do is I just do a copy and then just um, go back to my first one as you can see here in the bottom and just paste it on to my original uh, sheet that I'm going to be using to do my cuts. So now I'm going to do a quick fast forward because I'm going to do all the same to all the eggs that I'm going to be using for my printing cut. Okay, now that I have all the eggs that I'm going to be cutting, I'm going to grab my original traced area, my original cutting area, and I'm going to do a copy paste of a total of five times because I have five eggs. This will make it easier for you because some of these eggs, like I mentioned before, have some clear or two, you know, their patterns are have lighted and darker colors. So it'd probably be more difficult just to do the whole tracing area. And they're all the same size as soon as I open them up on the files. So I'm just adjusting them because I need to adjust my pieces inside the registration mark area. It cannot be outside of the registration mark area because it will not cut the area if it's outside of the borders of the um, area. So I'm just grabbing each of the my um, cutout um, or traced eggs and I'm just going to put one on top of each egg that I am going to cut out. That way when I do my printing cut feature it will cut all the eggs out for me. As you can see here it all is adjusted just perfectly. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my smaller eggs and I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I just did with the larger eggs. I'm going to go pick out, um, do a, a copy paste on each of my um, bigger eggs and do the same exact thing, tracing the outer cutter image. And I'm going to fast forward on that so you can see how the final um, arrangement that I did on my page. So I will be fast forward on that.
Okay, so here I have everything all set up and ready to go to get it printed out. So now let me show you how I set everything up to get it printed out. Okay, so now you got to do is just go on your left um, upper left hand corner and just go to where your um, little printer icon is and you just clicked on that automatically you send it to your printer and it will upload to the printer and it will just go and print out the image for you as you can see it could take a little bit because it's uploading the registration marks and all the images and the cutting areas for you the cutting red circles will not appear it's just a guide so when you do your final um, your final cutting uh, when it, it guides when it reads the registration marks Okay, everybody here it is here I just printed out my paper and you can see the registration marks printed out perfectly with the default uh, margin lines and it printed out my X perfectly because everything is inside the registration mark area so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna set this up on my silhouette cameo now I'm gonna go back on the screen and I will show you how to set the cutting options okay so here we are back at the silhouette studio program and now I'm gonna send this to my silhouette machine to cut but first I gotta go to my cut settings because I want to make sure you can see I highlighted every single egg here that's gonna cut for me now I need to make sure that my paper is marked at the paper and my blade is adjusted and the speed and the thickness everything is adjusted at what I needed so the paper is already at cardstock the thickness is basically like the pressure that it's gonna cut and I also like to set uh, my speed at 5 so now here I'm gonna send it to silhouette and automatically it's gonna start reading the registration marks now I'm gonna show you the cameo reading the registrations and cutting out the images after you upload your mat into the um, the cameo the machine will start reading the registration marks it actually has housed in a little red laser where it reads the registration marks the better lighting you have the better chances you have of it reading the marks for you so after it starts um, it reads the registration marks it automatically knows where to cut so now I'm gonna just fast forward this part um, and I will show you the final result after it's done cutting Okay, so all of my eggs are done cutting and um, they did cut out beautifully and I'm going to remove the paper so you can see how nice um, the Cameo cut these pieces out for me. Um, that's what I like about the Silhouette Cameo with the print and cut feature that it actually gives you a nice clean cut especially when it comes to detailed um, images I will be doing that later on in another tutorial um, this is just round so it's more simple cut that you can actually do it by hand but I just wanted to show you um, cutting these eggs out just the basic um, steps to do a print and cut on your silhouette cameo and um, so later on I will definitely we will be uh, doing a more detailed image um, but look how nicely cut these eggs came out um, I just love this feature because it does save you a lot of time and um, you could get so many things done much quicker um, than doing it by hand especially if you're in a rush and you just want to get some projects done quickly this is perfect so now I'm just going to re remove my mat and I'm um, just gonna assemble my eggs here on the side so you can get a better view better close-up of the eggs and um, you can see here I'm gonna show you a close-up of this one so you can see how nicely and roundly and clean the cut is so this is exactly the um, different things um, one of the features that the silhouette cameo has that's why I love this machine and there's so much more to it and I'll be showing more um, videos on that okay so here are some of the papers from the collection that I just printed out and um, I'm gonna be showing you some other items that I cut out using the printing cut feature here is a cute little butterfly and a, and a little bunny that is part of the collection um, I did cut out several items 
using the print and cut feature. I also cut out this other little bunny that I'm going to show you here. And they are just adorable. I love the detailing of these collections. Here are some butterflies that I did exactly. I did the same thing what I did with the eggs. Just adjusted the size and also did a print and cut on them. And also I did some scallop circles that also come with the collection that I cut out. And I did a lot of offsetting just to give it that small little border around here as you can see here. And I love that because that way it make, gives it that shadow look to it. And also the eggs that I just showed you how to cut out. So yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you now a quick project that I created with this collection. Um, please uh, go to Knitwit. They have some beautiful collections. Just to let you know, I am no part of you know their DT or anything, but I just fell in love with their collections ever since Serena Myers um, showed them on her video and I just wanted to show you guys a quick way how to get these little images cut out without going through a hassle I just got the pick scan uh, mat and I will be also doing a tutorial on how to use the pick scan which is another feature that Silhouette has to offer with their cutting machines okay so here is the project that I made using this collection and everything that you see here is cut out with the silhouette cameo besides um, the paper and all the uh, extra embellishments that I added on here um, this box card I did make it myself just um, using my scoreboard and you know just um, shaping it up and then I just distressed a lot of the papers and I used Wild Orchid Craft Flowers and here are all the little details that I added on here um, and here you go here's the paper that I distressed I just used the Victorian Velvet to distress throughout the whole entire I distressed all the edges of the box and the paper here's the little um, layers you can see inside the box and um, you can see the little butterfly and you see how when the box flattens out and here I wanted to show you guys something real quick that I actually made using one of the features of the Silhouette Cameo. This Hoppy Easter, actually I made it myself, just using the fonts. I used two different fonts and then just using the offset feature. And if you would like for me to show you how I did that, please let me know in the comment section below. Here you can see that I did cut out an extra paper to make the grass. The grass is also cut out with the Silhouette Cameo. Here's the back part of the box and the sides. And you can see all the way around um, I really enjoyed making this box card and I used a lot of um, I wanted to put a lot of detail into it I wanted to show you a quick um, the seam binding bow that I made and I just um, sprayed it with my uh, sprays just to give it that um, marble look with my pink the pink and blue and here is the card um, I really enjoyed making this card and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you wish to see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, or if you have any questions about the Silhouette Cameo, please let me know as well. So thank you all for watching and you have a beautiful day. Thank you and God bless.